Hey everybody, it's Darkling Muffin, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we discovered that pretty much the only people who know where the last spiritual stone are is, is the game developers themselves, because we had to consult the map, and I've never had to consult a map in my life, and in this episode we're gonna go that way, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Let's talk to Impa. Because she'll take us out of the castle. Which is actually very convenient, uh, because there is one area of Hyrule Field that we haven't explored yet. Of course, we've been all the way up to uh, Kakariko Village. Actually, uh, my notes tell me to show off something in Kakariko Village real quick. So I'm going to go there into the graveyard, and I'll meet you there in a second. We're back here in the graveyard, and I'm going to take a quick fall into the royal family's tomb, because I didn't really show off what Din's fire is you know, super capable of, uh, and they're, they, uh, and really one of the few things that Din's Fire is actually useful for is, well, setting things on fire, such as torches. This is just one of, Din's Fire, I said last time, Din's Fire is not crazy useful. That's one of the things it can do. It can get you more bombs, I guess, if you wanted that. I'm gonna meet you back out at the entrance to Kakariko Village. Alright, I'm back at the entrance of Kakariko Village. There are some stall children following me. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Just run away from them, I guess. Uh, and show you guys- I'm uh, to show- oh my gosh, I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, over here- okay, these stall children are actually in the way. Uh, over here is the one area of Hyrule that we have yet to go. If you go a little bit further over there, that's Kokiri Forest. You can kind of see the tree by the entrance there. That, this is the last place to go. And of course, it had to be the last place to go, uh, because I couldn't have just got, hugged the right wall instead of the left wall. But, I guess it's okay, because if I hadn't hugged the left wall, we wouldn't have gotten all of the things that we got. So that's nice, I guess... Ooh -hoo. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo -hoo -hoo. And of course, that is just kind of the way things go. We had to do the same thing with the Gorons. There's a bunch of bo- I didn't mean to throw that. There's a bunch of boulders blocking our way, and we actually couldn't get through here before because we didn't have bombs, but now we have bombs. Also, inside this tree, Gold Skulltula. This is, uh, Gold Skulltulas that uh, are in trees in areas where time flows, like this one, will always be, um will always be there, but uh, Gold Skulltula is in, in trees that are in areas where time doesn't flow will not always be there. They'll only be there at night. It's confusing and weird. Let's talk to this gentleman. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one? You got a magic bean! Find a suitable spot for a garden and plant it with one X, Y, or two. Then wait for something fun to happen. On the item subscreen, you can set it to an item slot and use one X, Y, or two to plant it. If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Oh, that was him talking, not <laughs> the game's narrator. Uh, we see there's a soft soil patch right next to this guy here, and you know what to do. I actually remembered to grab bugs this time. Drop bugs onto it. Uh, I said drop bugs onto it. Um. Oh, no. It didn't work. Yeah, for some reason, this is the only soft soil patch in the game that doesn't have a gold sculptula in it. And I don't know why they made that choice, but... Okay, 
The, yeah, the, just so you know, this soft soil patch does not have a gold sculpture in it, but what it does have is a beautiful, lovely place for us to plant a bean. You plant the bean and a little sprout will come out. Aw, it's so cute. It's a little bean garden. Uh, and if you talk to him again... How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees for one? The price has gone up, and in fact, the price will go up by 10 rupees every time. There's a little bit of a running joke in a community that I used to be a part of where we all had to find a formula to figure out how many rupees you'd have to spend to get up to a certain bean. Uh, and that formula is 5n times n plus 1, or 5n squared plus 5n. If you follow that formula with n being the number of beans you need, that will tell you how much money total you will have spent to get that many beans. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one more beans, one more beans, because that is all that I can afford right now, but... I should have read what he said, but they also uh, increase in popularity as uh, as he as as he tells you, which is uh, something fun there. Uh, don't fall in this water. This water will take you all the way back out because there's a very strong current. And this is where I actually intended to ID uh, Octoroks, do a little bio for them. But we already see seen all the uh, the stuff that an Octorok has to offer. Uh, up there, we see a piece of heart. Now, there's a few different ways to get that piece of heart, but I'm going to show you the way that I think was intended by the developers, but not yet. Well, actually, sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> I have I have no recourse. I have no reason not to do it. Uh, let's head back. You might have seen right over where this uh, bean gentleman was, which is going to be his official name now in my mind. His name is The Bean Gentleman. There was a cuckoo. I'm going to grab the cuckoo. But... Uh, the Shard of Agony is telling us there's something there. I'm gonna spoil it for you right now. We can't get whatever's there, and also it's not important, so I don't care. Uh, <laughs> this Kuko! Let's go ahead and grab it, and run along the world. We're gonna try and make a point to stay out of the water. If you fall in the water, the Kuko will land- if the Kuko lands in the water and doesn't jump back out, it's going to fly back and, and and end up back where it started, and that's really freaking annoying. So uh, try to uh, try to avoid that at all costs. Go ahead and throw this cuckoo up here and uh, pick it up once again. And up here, that's how you keep it out of the water. And we could continue on that way, but I'm actually going to continue over to the right, over this way. And after this point, we don't actually need the Kuko anymore, so go ahead and get rid of it. And climb up here. And there's another Kuko up here. This is how I think they intended for you to get this piece of heart. By, uh, very carefully walking across here and jumping down with this Kuko to pick it up. Alternatively, there is another way to do this. Let's see if I can grab the Kuko before. Oh, not that's not how you do that. I'm gonna go and grab the other Kuko. Because that one's easier to get to than that one. Also, there's blue tectites here, just kinda avoid them if you can. Also, there's a red rupee under there, so if you're, you know, short on cash, I actually have enough to buy another bean, and I don't think I'm gonna be using rupees anytime soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that right now. <laughs> How about some magic beans? They're all the rage. 40 rupees for one. If you're wondering about the voice that I've chosen for this guy, uh, it's an inside joke that uh, I have with a few friends of mine and it would take way too long to explain. Also, somehow the Kuko ended up over here instead of over there and I don't know how. And I also don't know how I didn't see it before. I don't know what's going on, but I guess it's along the way, so that's nice. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, hopping up here, this is the other way to get this uh, this piece of heart. 
if you jump up here and you let go of the Kuko, you can actually make the jump over to the platform there. The reason I don't think this is the intended way to do it is because it just doesn't feel like they would expect you to know to let go of the Kuko. It just doesn't feel like that's something they would expect you to do. Anyway, blue Tektites are basically the exact same as uh, red Tektites, except they have a little bit more health. So that's something. If you stand out here, some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Who said that? Who's there? Who's saying that? I see a frog, it ain't looking at me. If you pull out your ocarina, the frogs will jump out. I'm gonna spoil it for you right now. We can't do that for the moment. Uh, we can't do whatever it is that they want us to do with that. So we're gonna uh, just move on. Uh, going past this way, there's going to be another Octrock to the right. Hi, I predicted it. Uh, just moving along here, I something about the way the camera moves in this area, how it kind of follows the sort of turn of the the uh, the curve of the 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 walkway there is really interesting. There's another piece of heart over there, but I don't think we're meant to get that right now. Uh, we can't really jump to it, but down here is something we can get. It's another gold sculptula. Let's go ahead and take him out. And grab another golden skull token. And we come to a waterfall. A very pretty waterfall, I gotta say. I like the way the, this area looks with the sort of trees growing overhead and the waterfall. Waterfalls are just pretty. And there's the crest of the royal family here. Oh my god, this place is so pretty! Look at that water! Look at the texture on the walls! Listen to that music! Oh my god, this is just one of the best areas in video games, period! It's so nice! Uh, and of course, here in Zora's Domain, we have Zora's. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with royal family, Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? All of the water in Hyrule's flows from Zora's fountain. That water flows through Zora's river, which eventually reaches Lake Hylia to the south. Yeah, so these are the Zora people, and they're very cool looking, and I like, I, I don't know, fish people are rad. Guys, we need more fish people in the world. Fish people are rad. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? Oh, that's not good. Everyone who comes around here should see Le Lord Jabu Jabu at least once. Zora's fountain is just beyond the King Zora's throne. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims. But unless you have King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's fountain. That's unfortunate. I guess we need King Zora's permission. Well, maybe we'll be able to get it. We Zoras all serve the great King Zora. Zora's fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. Lord Jabu Jabu is the patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Ruto is in charge of preparing them his meals morning and night. Okay, so Princess uh, Princess Ruto is in charge of preparing his meals. Well, where should we go but the very King Zora that everyone is talking about? And maybe he'll let us talk to see Lord Jabu Jabu, who maybe knows something about the Spiritual Stone. Maybe even King Zora knows something about the Spiritual Stone. Who's to say? 
King Zora's throne room to hear the king's royal proclamation stand on the platform and speak to him. Oh, my dear sweet princess Ruto, where is she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, dear. Uh, it seems that Princess Ruto, the person that uh, other Zora was talking about, has gone missing. That's unfortunate, but I don't really see any way to uh, address this, so let's just keep exploring this area and see if there's anything that we can uh, we can accomplish here. High dive practice spot! Are you confident in your diving skill? Don't ignore any weird scandals that are going on or any missing princesses. Have fun with a high dive and this. Our diving game is 20 rupees. Want to play? You don't have enough rupees. I spent all my rupees on beans! Alright, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes we spend all our rupees on beans forgetting that we're gonna need rupees. These pots here, well, I guess this pot always has a Deku stick, but these pots here have rupees. I think one of these has a blue rupee. Yeah, this guy has a blue rupee. And in here, we have the Zora shop. But more importantly, we have a loading zone, which we can use to refresh these pots. So if you run out of rupees, uh, like I have... That's a quick way to get them back. Alright, I have gotten back the money that I've spent on my bean addiction. And I'm, I'm gonna play the game now. Okay, pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here and I'll give you something very nice. So, this game is a very simple game. This person will throw down a bunch of rupees, and we have to collect them all. I like to try and get a rupee on the first immediate dive, but really you have a ton of time to get all the rupees. Just, you know, swim over top of them and grab them. Almost got the last one. You can actually, if you uh, play your cards right, pick up more than one at a time. Hey, congratulations! I've got something nice for you! Come and get it! I had to shout that because they're all the way up there. Uh, whatever you do, don't be like me nearly every time I played this game as a kid and go through a loading zone forgetting to go and pick up the prize because that resets the game. <laughs> also worth noting is that we got a profit of 5 rupees from that, which is interesting. We paid 20 rupees and we got 5 sets of 5 rupees, which is 25 rupees. But let's see what uh, other prize we get from this person. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Well, let's go and try it out. Where before we could only swim and dive down for... S five, uh, three seconds, we can now do it for six seconds, or whatever those units are. I'm not actually sure if they're meant to be seconds. Maybe they're meant to be, like, deepness levels. What unit is that? I don't know. Um, you did see under the water there a very obvious entrance that you can, uh, swim to. You couldn't swim to it before without the scale, uh, but you can swim to it now with the scale. But before we do that, there's another waterfall out in the open that you may have seen, and yes indeed there's a secret behind it, but in order to do to find out what secret it is hiding, we have to light these torches. So I'm going to light these torches. Again, once you've lit a torch, it resets the timer on the Deku stick, so you don't have to be too worried about it burning out. Uh, there's a torch there next to the shop, there's also a torch here over by this corner. And you do want to be a little bit quick about this and do this as efficiently as possible. Uh, then the last two torches are here uh, next to the waterfall. Uh, because these torches will burn out if you don't light them all. And then, again, slash your sword real quick and it just gets rid of the flame. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. It's a piece of heart, which makes our ninth heart container, which is really, really neat. Um, I 
am now going to go into this thing here. Now, you might recall uh, an episode ago, I guess it was, two, was it two? No, it was last episode, uh, that there was something over here in Lake Hylia, where we are now, because this leads to Lake Hylia, there was something under the water that we uh, couldn't grab before because we couldn't dive deep enough. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can grab it now. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and use 1x, y, or 2 to get it out. What? Something's already inside. Huh. There's something in this bottle. I wonder what it is. Let's get to the dry land and figure it out. It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Rudo. P.S. Don't tell my father. Oh. Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Um. Well, we should probably tell King Zora about this really quickly before she gets digested. But first... <laughs> Let's go and see! I did that whole diving thing uh, a couple episodes ago. Let's see if uh, if this new scale allows us to, uh, to dive any deeper and make this guy happy about it. I don't know. I know how to say words. And then I promise we'll tell King Zora about his missing child. Like a good Samaritan. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You dove 18 feet just now. You should be able to dive deeper. Don't tell me how deep I should be able to dive. That's rude. Now, uh, one thing that I did want to mention that I actually forgot, uh, well, actually is relevant now, uh, is that if you might remember back in uh, Hyrule, I, I talked to this back when we first visited the marketplace. I talked to this old lady who told us that uh, stuff flows to Lake Hylia and that people find stuff that's sort of washed up. I don't actually remember exactly what she said, uh, but yeah, that uh, that bottle is clearly something that has done that, as well as these rupees, which I'm not going to grab because I don't know. I have rupees; it's fine. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go and tell King Zora about his daughter's predicament. Because, honestly, being swallowed by a whale, not exactly the best uh, place to be. Although, it does seem to be a common thing in video games. I mean, there's a lot of games where you go inside the belly of the bale. Be belly of the whale, one that immediately comes to mind is Okami. That's something you do that in. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Well... Let's tell him the news. Ho! Oh, this letter is from Princess Ruto! Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu! That's not possible! Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never read my dear Princess Ruto! But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter, you keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. I don't care what anybody says. That seems hilarious. I don't care that it takes forever. Let's go back there and see if we can uh, find our way inside Lord Jabu Jabu, shall we? And try and save Princess Ruto. 
Uh, but what's really nice is that we got ourselves a, a bottle along with that, so that's cool. Here we are in Zora's Fountain, and this is Lord Jabu Jabu. I guess I'm not sure I actually mentioned that Lord Jabu Jabu, or anybody actually mentioned Lord Jabu Jabu was a whale. Uh, I just kind of spoiled it, but yeah, Lord Jabu Jabu is a whale. Let me in! I let me in! I, I gotta save the lady! Ow, my face! He doesn't seem to be opening up. But, you might recall there was that one Zora who said that Princess Ruto feeds Lord Jabu Jabu. So maybe, Princess Ruto got into an accident with Lord Jabu Jabu, where she was feeding Lord Jabu Jabu. And that is how she ended up inside Lord Jabu Jabu. Let's put that theory to the test, by, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hurting our head on this rock here, first of all. Ow, that's gotta hurt, diving head first, Jesus. Uh, there are some fish over here. Now, I didn't mention that you can, I, I've never mentioned that you could catch fish in this, but you can indeed catch a fish in a bottle. And if you remember that uh, gentleman uh, in the marketplace who was asking you to sell things with, uh, well, in, in the N64 version, he wants you to sell things with C. Uh, when The things that he wants you to sell are things in bottles, and specifically uh, bugs and fish. I believe bugs give you like 50 rupees, it might be 20 rupees, future me, correct me. But I believe the fish gives you 100 rupees, possibly? I could have the numbers wrong, but the fish gives you quite a bit of rupees. Uh, but of course, there's better ways to get rupees. Uh, and there's not really much of a reason to catch fish other than selling it, and, well, let's feed Lord Jabu Jabu, shall we?